YouTube. Sci-Fi would make a slightly different video than a drawing art video, a speed painting one, a speed drawing video. I recently picked up a couple of art books, so I thought I would make a quick video on that and show you guys what I got. Why not? So I went to two places um, last month, August. It's September now, September 1st. Um, so I went to the dollar store and I always just go check out the books just in case there's something. I found some decent stuff there and for a dollar I mean why not. But I also went to a local thrift store. Um, it's one of the bigger ones. I, it has like multiple stores. I, it might be a chain store, I don't know, but they sell um, people donate things and they sell them and they tend to have I found some nice books there and I don't mind used books so I mean it's way cheaper than buying a new book and I mean they have some good stuff like I said so to start off at the thrift store I found three art books um, the first two are Japanese art and impressionism so these are part of a world art series that's what this little symbol up there is. Um, they're from the same publisher. I'm trying to find out. The reason I picked these, up, well, actually, I like Japanese art and I like Impressionism and I like art history. Um, published. I don't know if that's right. Thames and Hudson in London. Yeah, Thames and Hudson. So I picked these up because I like Japanese art and I like Impressionism a lot. And Japanese wood prints um, influence Impressionism, which is awesome. So I'm excited to read these. And I know a good amount about the Impressionist already, modern art. Um, what do I want to say? <laughs> oh yeah, so the reason I picked these up it's because I already have a couple books in the, from the same collection, from the same publisher. I got those books years ago at another used book sale um, while I was at college, and the money went towards the college, I think. Um, people donated books, and I picked up some art books there, obviously, some art history books. So I saw these, I'm like, oh, I recognize that. I recognize this little red little circle with a little dolphin in it, and I'm like, yes. And Japanese art impressionism, yes. So I picked those up. Um, they're art history books, and they have like black and white photos. So it's not. Oh, there's some color photos. So it's not like the best, but it's also not supposed to be. They're not that expensive, from what I've seen. I mean, I got them all used, so what can I say about that but I get that oh my oh, all right um when was this published 1967 yeah so they're old um originally published in 1967 published in the U.S. in 1985 reprinted in 1988 so the old books, um, they're probably still good. I mean, I haven't read this one yet, but it's like thick. So there's some art history in there. There's some knowledge. There's a Japanese one. So like I said, I've, I've had some good luck at like thrift stores and used bookstores. And if you don't mind used books, they're way cheaper. This is like three, four dollars. Uh, artwork, a lot of black and white images. Huh? Japanese artwork is always like really interesting to look at. Look at that dragon. I'm actually really into the, the super cute Japanese art. That's contemporary art. That building is gorgeous. 
so yeah, that's it for these two books. Just some basic art history books, and you know, I find it, it's inspirational. I just, I don't know, I like art history. I like art. I like painting. I like drawing. I like reading about art. Oh my god, <laughs> I threw them. They're thick. They're fine. So. The third book I picked up at the thrift store. I picked up two more books, but they're not art related. But the third book that's art related is The Little Book of Monet. And according to Goodreads, this is part one of I don't know how many, or maybe it's a collection of different artists. But this book is just some of Monet's paintings with a little bit of description about the painting or about the author during that time period. It's very quick to read, but I thought it was just so adorable. It's, it's just a cute little like book you can leave out and people can flip through it. And I mean, it inspires me because I like the Impressionist. Monet is amazing. He was amazing. So, it's a nice little read. Oh, this is a well-known painting of his. So I found so I found this and this was like what's the price tag on it? I think it was two dollars. So it's it's very nice. Can't resist books. Like I have an, I have another YouTube channel where I um I don't know what I'm doing with the other YouTube channel yet, but I have done some book haul videos. Um, so it might become a book channel. It's, it's a lifestyle channel right now. Um, but I love reading. I love books. So I'll leave a link to that channel in the description. If you guys are interesting about the other, interested in any of the other books I read, I read a lot of fiction, nonfiction. Um, um. I've been reading nonfiction lately, I think. I've been reading weird stuff. <laughs> so the, th the fourth book I have for this video is, um, it's kind of weird. It's not like an art history book. It's not a book of art prints or anything like that. It's, the title is Underwater Babies. And it's a collection of photographs by Seth Castell of Babies Underwater. So I picked this up for a couple of reasons. One is that I found this at the Dollar Tree, the dollar store, and it was $1. So why not? Especially because I thought I could use this as an art reference. I thought, you know how in Oh my god, this is cute. I thought babies were cute. But you know how in the old Renaissance paintings, there's like, um, what are they called? The, the child figures with the wings, the um, cherubs? Cherubs. Cherubs. Oh my god. The cherubs. Um, I thought it might be interesting to make a video where I paint a little, um, one of those little figures based on maybe an image from inside this book. Uh, because, you know, drawing children, they have different proportions. Babies, look at the little chubbiness. Look at the chubbiness. So it's kind of like, I mean, it's the same basic principle. You line everything. Um, there's a wrist, elbow, shoulder. Um, that way, but I mean, this is a nice picture, <laughs> but still, drawing children, it presents a different challenge than drawing an adult figure, so I thought it would be interesting to try and paint some little figures based on these images, and I thought I would make a nice video for YouTube out of that, um, show you guys, guys how I do it. Oh my god, children are cute. Um, that's mainly why I picked this up. 
the dollar. I'm like, whatever, I can waste the dollar. Oh my God, look at her eyes. Okay, sorry, I'm like going baby crazy now. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking of doing a little video where I paint a figure based off of these, one of these photos. Show you guys how I do it, how, you know, you measure out things like the angle of the foot to the head. Um, I mean, basic figure drawing. But like I said, drawing babies and children, it's different. The different proportions, I guess. I don't know how you would say it. It's just, they're chubbier, they're way chubbier, they're cuter. Like, you know the early Christian Byzant Byzantine, Byzantine art? And how they have images of the Virgin Mary with holding baby Jesus, but baby Jesus was drawn like a proportional man, but really tiny. <laughs> he had like a grown adult man's head, but he was represented as a baby, like he's supposed to be a baby, it was baby Jesus. Um, they couldn't draw babies that well. It's a combination of that, plus it was sacrilegious to depict Jesus as an infant because he was a grown man and he was the son of God, I God himself, and all that. But um, it's different to draw little babies and draw children. There's just different proportions, different, different body types. I mean, obviously, this is, obviously, I mean, look, that's... <laughs> A little different. I thought it would be cute to make uh, cute to make a little video where I paint one of these figures. So I'm gonna have to flip through this and figure out figure out what to do, what picture I want to base this on, um, what picture I want to base the painting on. But for a dollar, I thought this would be a good reference book. Um, I mean, normally you just Google if you want a reference. We have Google nowadays. Or you take your own photographs, which I think is probably better because then you don't get accused of copying something. You don't you have a low risk of copyright infringement. Um, but this is gonna be like an educational YouTube video, so it's a dollar. So I thought I'd pick it up and use that as a reference, and I'll get some art practice. All right, so that's it. We got Underwater Babies. <laughs> My little Monet book, which is so adorable. I'm leaving this out. Have I told you I love the Impressionists? I'm leaving this out. This is like just a tiny little book that's like perfect for like the coffee table or something. And then I have the Impressionism and Japanese art history books. So yeah, I think it was a pretty good art, art book haul. Um... I'm surprised I found art books. I normally don't buy a whole lot of them. Um, I should, I do need to buy more. I want to buy like books by artists. Like, you know, some artists, they sell a collection of their prints and their artwork. I want to eventually work towards that and combine it with like short stories and maybe poetry because I also write and I, I write short stories and I write poetry. So I'm, actually thinking of a series that I might make into such a book but I'm still working on that I'm working out ideas and I'm working out drawings for that um I've been busy I've been focusing on like uh artwork inspired by mythology <laughs> and some writing inspired by mythology because I'm planning to submit some artwork and some writing for um a group publication when I'm going to submit some work for that. It's Neos Alexandria. So I'm going to be, I'm going to try and submit some work from that. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm falling on the floor. If you follow me on Instagram, and I'll leave the link in the description, you can see some of the paintings I've been doing that are uh, myth uh, inspired by mythology, ancient Minoan mythology. <laughs> so I'm stuck in the Minoan, Minoan era. Um, but I've been working with Minoan mythology, Roman mythology, Greek mythology, pretty much. Um, I just need Egyptian, Roman, pagan, uh, Roman, Egyptian, Roman style of painting too recently of Isis holding um, baby 
Horus had a different name in Greek. Can't remember it now. I can't. But um, that's those are the projects I've been working on. But as I get ready now to submit some of that work, um, I'm going to be focusing on non-mythologically inspired work. So I've been also do I've also been doing the visual novel kind of s character designs. I want to continue working on some of those designs. And I want to move on to this next project I have coming up. And I'm sorry I'm being a bit vague, but I'm still figuring out exactly how I'm going to do it. It's kind of inspired by the super cute Japanese art movement. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot. There's not really much else to say right now. I'm going to be shifting over to that project. I thought about trying to start an online webcomic. I have a couple ideas, so I might flush out one or one of those ideas and start working on that next. Those are pretty much my art projects coming up. Kind of just ranting now. But I thought it would be fun to make a little video showing some of the books I got recently because I got like four art related books. Um, even if, I mean, yeah, I normally don't get art books now, so I thought, hey, this is a lot for me. I'm also trying not to buy a lot of books right now. So I'm trying to wait until next year. But yeah, so, so that's where I'm at, finishing up a couple projects, and I'm going to submit those, and then I am going to start one or two new projects. And when I start those, I'll make another video and show you guys what that's all about. Um, thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed my art book haul review, please check out my lifestyle channel because I do book, rev uh, book reviews and book hauls and all that jazz over there. And I'm, I might do some other books, other types of blogging on that channel too. Blogging. I don't know. Yeah, it's just kind of like a throw everything else there kind of channel. Um, I saw my art channel and I have the secondary lifestyle channel. Um, yeah, so if you're interested.